Hi everyone, this is Jay Harris coming to you from Tom's Trading Room. In this video presentation, I'm going to discuss how to take saved trades and move them into an Excel spreadsheet. We had a student email in a couple of days ago asking about a specific concern. And one of the things that was found by the programmers in researching her concern was that she had over 600 saved trades. Now that's quite a bit and it's a testament to her for use, using the tools having that many tracking that many and just trying to perfect her craft but it got to the point where that many symbols or that many saved trades was slowing the navigation through the software through the tools so they suggested maybe she delete some of her older trades now what i thought of is if she didn't want to delete the trades and no longer have that information but she wanted to delete the trades and the tools yet have records of those trades somewhere else i asked if it was possible to have this transferred into an excel spreadsheet and programmer John, to his credit, said that's already done. The tools have that capability, and I'm going to show you how to get that done. So here you are on your main page. What you'll want to go to is Trades, Saved Trades, and then go to the Profit and Loss. When you click on Profit and Loss, a new page will populate. What you want to do is make sure you select the proper folder. So I have this folder called Handful of Trades, and here's a few trades listed there. What you want to do now is click on the box that says show comma delimited. Once you do that, click on update. Once the page repopulates or updates from here, you'll see it laid out in a new format. Now go over to the download data and click on your Excel spreadsheet. Once you click on Excel, it will transfer all the information over to the Excel spreadsheet. And it's here that you'll start reformatting the size of your columns to include all the data that you want. You can also add in some columns if there's some more data that you want that's not automatically populated into the Excel spreadsheet. You can delete a column or two. Basically format this, create columns and labels however you wish. Once you're done, go ahead and click on Save, and then you can go back to your tools. And the reason you'll go back to the tools is because at this point in time now, you've saved or transferred these trades into an Excel spreadsheet. You can now delete them from the software, delete them from the tools. If you want to delete the folder entirely, you can do so, but let me caution you something real quick. If you click on website, or excuse me, put your cursor on website, go to folders, and then you go down to delete folders. When the folders list pops up, you'll see the notation here. It says deleting a folder does not delete the trades in a folder. It will pretty much delete the folder, but keep the trades in the all trades batch. What you want to do is go to trades, edit, create, and then down below find delete trades and left click on that when the folder repopulates or the page repopulates with the folder and the trades you can click on each box separately or click on check all and then at this point in time go ahead and click delete it will delete all the trades out of that folder your folder name will remain though at that point in time because there are no more trades in that folder you can now go ahead and follow the process of website folders delete folders and you'll have no issues from there that was a quick informational video on how to take saved trades put them into an excel spreadsheet delete those trades to create more space for more trades or to help speed up the navigation and data mining that you're doing with the tools i will see you on future videos reach out to me at any time at support at tomgentile.com bye for now